Hey, I'm Vlad with Glow Marble, and I'm gonna show you how to use Plaster of Paris with our Glow Marble molds. First thing I wanna do is tell you the benefits of using plaster over concrete, which is it's a lot faster to manufacture, so you could demold in 30 minutes sometimes and get production going like this. It's super lightweight, it's eco-friendly, and it's easier to cut and adjust it. But you should know that plaster of Paris is more brittle than concrete, and it's only used for indoor applications. If you want to do exterior applications, you could use Hydrocal or Hydrostone, but those are a little bit more expensive than plaster of Paris. I'm going to show you some mixing techniques, and this one a lot of first timers try and fail at. So you take the water, you put your plaster inside of it. and then immediately start mixing with the drill. And this is wrong, I'm gonna show you why. Now I just finished mixing, and if you're familiar with pouring concrete into molds, this is no good. This is gonna leave air pocket bubbles and it's gonna make the texture of that stone look really, really ugly. It's way too thick. This is because plaster reacts, the more you mix it, the more uh, movement it gets. If you insist on using a mechanical drill though, you could use something called citric acid you can find in any cooking store. And don't use too much of this. If you use too much, um, it's gonna take way too long to cure. One time I did, uh, I did a project and it didn't cure for like 72 hours. So I'm just taking a pinch out of my hand, sprinkling it in there, and um, before you do this, make a test beforehand to see how much you want to add. To make sure that everything's adding up nicely. Mix it in there, make sure that it's completely diluted with all the water. Then we add in our plaster. Whoa. Now here's the tip, place enough where you have a little bit of an island in the center, but those sides are surrounded by water and don't start mixing until this is fully saturated. I'm gonna speed this up, you're gonna see it in a uh, fast motion. So it's more or less absorbed, I can just kinda take that dry stuff, put it where the water uh, is collecting at. And the reason why I did this is so that these clumps of dry material aren't left inside and they're not gonna ruin your, um, your mixing. And now you can see how easily that pours out. When you vibrate it, it spreads across the entire surface. And this is a lot more workable. It's gonna be a lot more user-friendly product than what we were trying to do in the, uh, in the beginning. The problem with that method is that you're sacrificing cure time for work time. And this one is my favorite method because you have the best of all those worlds. Um, you could demold it in half an hour and also you have a lot of time to work with it. I'm gonna add some oxide pigments into the water because I'm gonna be pouring it into a mold and I want it to look nice. But you don't have to pour any oxide pigments, you can just leave the, the thing white. Again, we're gonna add this mountaintop peak so that everything gets saturated and we can work from there. thing about plaster is that it doesn't need a release agent so we can go straight into coloring certain segments with oxide pigments that are saturated in uh, water. Then you take your hand and instead of using a mixer you just mush everything up with your hand like this. Don't make any violent jerks we already know that um, that the gypsum stops working starts working as soon as you start moving it around so the slower you move the better. So it's half an hour later and we're ready to demold. You have to make sure to dry these panels out seven days before actually applying them to a wall. And in my opinion, the easiest way to apply these is with um, construction adhesive. Lay that onto the back, stick it onto your wall, and you're good. So I hope that helped you out. If it did, shoot us a like, we'll really appreciate it. Maybe even check out some of our other videos and consider subscribing. I'm Vlad with Glow Marble. Take it easy.